How is it going out there, everybody? This is Speedboy14 on my playthrough of Super Mario Galaxy 2 for the Nintendo Wii. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it to be notified every time my new videos come out. Exciting feature of the channel, you can request your favorite galaxy, world, or star in the game in the comments below. Um, so... I want to mention last episode's question of the video while I was asking about favorite power-up. Somebody said their favorite power-up was the Tanuki suit from, I think, either Super Mario 3D Land or 3D World. And they liked what you could do with the Tanuki suit in 3D World if you're just playing as Peach in 3D World. I'm glad somebody participated in last episode's question of the video. I thought I'd mention it while it was on my mind before I forget it. Also, let me know down in the comments below for a question of the video. What is your least favorite Mario power-up? I would love to know what your least favorite is. Like, I literally would love to know what your least favorite Mario power-up is. A Glimmer of Bulberry is the name of the first star in Honey Hall's galaxy. All right, here we go. The ghost, mu the ghost house music in this game sounds somewhat similar to the ghost house music from Super Mario World. I've noticed that, it does. Excuse me. All right. You just have to follow this path right here. And then there you go. There you go, there you go. Come on, give me that one up, thank you. Oh, just be careful right here, just watch out for these Octoboos. I don't know what they're called, but just watch out for them. All right, so this comet metal right here. Let's get the comet metal right now. There we go, we got the comet metal. Let's grab the checkpoint and let's grab Yoshi. We can eat the bold berry to grab. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. We take right our path right there. Now we can grab that. All right, we can do that. All right, uh, basically you just have to keep grab eating the bulb berries right here to light up your path. It's that simple, you just gotta do that. Pretty easy. Yeah. 
So, if I had to pick my least favorite power-up, that'd have to be the Mini Mushroom from the new Super Mario Bros. games. Because I hated using that power-up. I, I hated that that power-up made you mini. If you get hit once with it, you, you get... If you get hit once with it, you die. So that wasn't good. Other power-ups I'm not too fond of. I'm kind of not too fond of the boomerang suit either. Although the boomerang suit... Um, Although the boomerang suit's not a terrible power up by any means, but I'm just not too fond of the boomerang suit because the boomerang suit is just a boring power up. It's not a bad power up, it's just a boring power up. I've never been too fond of the boomerang suit. And I'm kind of not too fond of the Spring Mario suit either, which you'll see later in this playthrough. That's definitely one of the worst suits I've used in a Mario game. Because it's kind of more of a hassle than like a benefit to Mario's repertoire and Mario's gameplay. Because the Spring suit's really difficult to control. <laughs> That's why I don't like that power-up too much. Like it's one of the worst power-ups to use. There's definitely some power-ups that are worse, but Spring Mario is definitely one of the worst. And uh, another terrible, terrible power-up, another extremely terrible power-up is the Poison Mushroom. I remember that from Super Mario 3D Land when he got into Special Worlds in 3D Land. And, and that power-up was also in the Lost Levels. It was more of a power-down than a power-up. Because it would make you lose whatever power-up you had if, if you touched the Poison Mushroom. Touching the Poison Mushroom counted as getting hit. <clears throat> is annoying basically you just have to it's, it's pretty easy to this part actually you just have to long jump this part it can be tedious but still very easy the only thing that makes it tedious are just the carpet eater guys that eat through the carpet as long as you just keep long jumping and long jumping you'll make it The comet medal at least so that's a plus excuse me all right Let's do the com the Prankster comment of Cloudy Court Galaxy right now. Yeah, Prankster comments in this game just like you did in the first Super Mario Galaxy game. The Shadow Lightning is the name of this level right here. This one's pretty easy. Um, you have cosmic clones that will chase you, but it's a pretty easy level overall. Just watch out for the cosmic clones. Like, I also remember uh, some cosmic clone races where he had cosmic comets in the first Super Mario Galaxy game, where he raced against Shadow Mario instead of have Shadow Mario chase you. And in Super Mario 3D Land, you had cosmic level. <clears throat> you also had cosmic clones in Super Mario 3D Land, and that was in some of the levels in the Special Worlds. I remember those levels in Super Mario 3D Land. So just be careful right here. Watch out for those cosmic clones. So just be careful right here. Just be careful. Just be careful. Okay. 
Perfect. And there we go. Not too hard. Maybe the easiest price or comment in the game. All right. There we go. All right. Let's go back to world one and then do some prankster comments here. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Spiny Rainbow Romp. Oh no, I remember this one. This one's annoying. This one's one of the worst ones. I, I hate this one. This one's annoying. You have 60 seconds to do this. And you have to keep collecting stars and then use the stars to run into them. I gotta keep collecting star power. Mess up! No! What? Uh, oh no. Dude, now do you understand why I hate this mission? You're running so fast and you can't you can't even take your time you have a time limit now do you understand why I hate this mission and when you have the star power you're just naturally moving fast even when you don't want to go too fast that's what I hate about it I hate it. 
Because you can't take your time! I hate missions like this. Because I try just to take my time to ensure I don't mess up. But no matter what you do, you have to go fast. Wow, that was tough. That was one of the tougher ones in the game. My gosh. I did it though. That's one of the worst missions in the entire game. I'm glad it's over now. Piranha speed run. This one's easier than what we just did. <laughs> Thank goodness. The one we just did was very, very hectic. And you had no other choice but to go fast. Okay. I have to be fast to defeat this boss and I have to make sure I collect the clocks. my first try so I know this one was a pretty easy one so I know I could do it my first try but that last one we did was uh, don't like the last one we did wow at least I'm glad we did it Okay. 
Let's do the price for comment and spin and spin spin big galaxy. Just to knock that out of the way. So basically right here for this boss, this is a pretty easy Daredevil Comet. Um, the only thing that's tedious about it is that you cannot get hit. But this is pretty easy to do anyway since the boss is originally a pretty easy boss anyway. So this shouldn't take too many tries, I don't think. Wow. I was barely... I was almost too early, but barely not too early. Uh, I did not anticipate that. Wow. I was just trying to react. I wasn't even trying to anticipate it. Because when you try to react, maybe I should just anticipate more because I, I know it's patterns. I know how he does it. I know what he always does and doesn't do. But... So he hops around three times that side, two times this side, three times the other side. Two times that way, three three times this way. I know the pattern. Ugh. Wow! This only took two tries. That's not bad. I know this mission wasn't that difficult. Because I know this mission was pretty easy. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, there we go. Excuse me. We'll just do a few more prankster comments right now. What prankster comments do I want to do? Let's do the one in Boulder Ball Galaxy. I don't think this one's too difficult. I don't remember this one being that difficult. All right, rolling crabber romp. <clears throat> I remember this one now. This one's pretty easy, actually. Basically what you gotta do for this mission is you gotta use the rock suit to roll into these crabs. And the rock suit moves really fast. That's one thing about it. It's kinda hard to control this thing, so it does make it tedious, but this level ain't really that hard overall. But 
the thing that can make it difficult is that it's RNG. It's random each time which way the crabs move, and you can't learn a pattern in order to even defeat them. You just have to get, get lucky. It's just a luck-based mission. Come on. I only made it to World 3 and the game's already starting to get hard, I know. You know, in Galaxy 1, you remember how easy that game was compared to this game? In this game, the difficulty's much harder, of course. Like, they want to make it really difficult just this early in the game. And it's only, I only made it to World 3, and this is only World 2 for the Prankster Comet. And they're already giving me a tedious Prankster Comet. This wasn't too hard, it was just, it's just luck based. This one's very luck based, cause it's basically just luck. There's no perfect strategy to beat this. <sighs> wow. That was intense. We have 36 stars. <laughs> All right, we got 50 star bits from that later. Because I want to knock out a few Prankster Comets. Purple Coin Shadow Vault. This one's actually not that hard. It might take a couple tries, but I doubt it'll take too many tries. You have a minute to collect 100 Purple Coins. Okay, so basically what you gotta do is you gotta collect all these purple coins. This is pretty easy, you just have to collect these purple coins right here. I was like, please disappear, Cosmic Clone, so I can get this star and, and give me some star bits. Yeah! I love star bits. There we go. I just think it's a good idea to knock out a few prankster comets. We're at 37 stars now. Meteors falling from the sky. 
And that can make it tedious. You have a three minute time limit, so this ain't super hard or anything. Alright, so be careful out here pretty much. What? What? So we can make it up here and skidoo. We only have two minutes left. Alright. There we go. Here's why I have to be careful. But thankfully, the. Ow! I did not see that meteor coming. The prankster comments in this game are definitely more difficult than what they are in the first Galaxy game, because they wasn't even that hard in the first Galaxy game, I know. So there we go, we just need to eat this. Eat that dash pepper, then we need to use it to get over here. And skidoo off to the next area. Alright, we have a few extra seconds this time because I made less mistakes this time than I did last time. There we go. I'm just, I'm be careful right here. Excuse me. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get that star. That's the problem I always have, is that you go so fast, just naturally, you bump something, and then you lose your opportunity to do anything. Let's go back to world one and then do that one prankster comment that's in world one. Let's do this one now. Y'all. All right, purple coin flipping sprint. This one's pretty easy. I don't want to do any real hard ones right now. 
We already did one real hard one. So let's just do an easy one. Which is one that's consistent for me to beat. There we go. Basically, I just have to collect the purple coins here. The purple coin music in this game is the same as the purple coin music in the Galaxy 1. Wow, I can't believe I just died right there. Basically right here, you just have to long jump and then just collect these purple coins. Whoa, that was so close. We can turn the camera around and then get over here and then just do that. So the good news about this level is that oh, Watch out for that chain chomp checkpoints in this. That sucks. That sucks. So there's no checkpoints in this. Oh. Ah! How did I recover from that? I don't even know how I recovered from it. Ha <laughs> 
Finally, we got the star. Excuse me. I thought this video is already long enough as it is, so I'll end the video off right here. So because we already done quite a few prankster comments, we have 39 stars now. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell. I'll be notified every time I make new videos. Have a wonderful day. Peace, Republic of Spain, boy.